All right, so as I said before in this blog post, um, I got introduced to Survey Anyplace when they approached me to do a um, guest blog. Here's my guest blog uh, article here about boosting and coaching efficiency using surveys or questionnaires. So you can check that out if you're interested. Um, so let's get back here to their homepage here and I'm gonna show you how to actually set up a survey on their site. So if you haven't signed up already, then you should, you can do that or you can sign in. So I'm going to sign in because I already have an account. So I already have a survey here, but I'm going to go and create a new one by going up here to create questionnaire. And I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to start from scratch just to show you how this can be done. All right, so we can give our questionnaire a title. So let's just um, call it demo survey. So we're gonna call it demo survey just for, the, for this example. Okay, so let's set a unique um, link for this. We'll call it demo course survey. All right, it accepted that. And this is the intro screen. We're just gonna leave it as the default, I think. So here you can toggle it on or off as well over here. And then you can use start as the button label or begin, or you can change that to whatever you want. I'm gonna leave it. And the final screen will say, thank you. Thanks for taking our survey. Your feedback is important. And we promise to put it to good use. So we'll just leave that. And then the final button can be back to start, to start the questionnaire, to the start of the questionnaire, or you could go to a specific URL. So I'm gonna choose URL and I'm going to say, so leave this blank if you do not want a button on the final screen. If you do, we could just say, check out our website. Something like that. And then I would probably put my website URL there so okay so I put my website URL and you could have it redirect after 10 seconds if you want I'm just gonna leave it like this for now so I'm gonna go up here to the right up at the top and save changes and now you can go to the design button here or you can start adding your questions so um, how about we we add some questions in now? I'm going to add Some that I had already used before just for this demo and I put them in notepad right here So these are the questions I had for my course um, That I that I just uh, put up What prompted you to buy this online course? What did you like most about the course? What are some other benefits about the course? Would you recommend this online course if so? Why and is there anything else you'd like to add? So we're going to add those, but before I show you that, let's just look at the different question choices that Survey Anyplace has. So they have text choice, and if you click on it, it'll tell you what it means. So you can choose either one or multiple answers from the predefined answer list, image choice, the respondent can answer by selecting one or multiple images from an image list, slider text. So the respondent selects one of the predefined answers. This is net promoter score question type, including the correct graph in the results. A rating, the respondent can answer the question by indicating the number of icons revealed. Open-ended, so you can just enter in the text field. Image upload, the respondent can answer the question either by taking a picture or uploading an image from their PC. Text only shows only a video image or information on the slide. Radio button, so you can just select a button that best fits their response. A form, you use a specific input fields with validation such as date, numbers, email addresses. Sliders with numbers, 
And every time I'm clicking on these, you can actually see an example over here. Sorry, I forgot to show you that earlier, but over here you can see that what that lo will look like. Here's ranking. So you can rank these and continuous sum. So the respondent answers by giving a score to each of the answers and adds it up. There we go. So I think what I'm going to start with, so let's go look at our questions. What prompted you to buy this online course? So that's an open-ended type. So we're going to just have them have a text field and most of these will be like that, but I will show you a rating. We'll do a rating one. Maybe I'll add one of those so, so that you can see that type. So I'm going to click here and then you go down and add question. Okay, so in this text field, I will put that first question there. All right, so that's there. You can also add media if you want to have um, a, a little an image to put there. You can add a YouTube video as well. And you can make it mandatory so that they can, you know, so that they have to answer it. All right, so that's number one. Let's add another question. So go back to our question types. What did you like most about the course? So again, that's open-ended. So let's add another one here since I want to, I want to show you a rating scale. So something like, what would you rate this course? So what did you like most about the course? Again, it's open-ended. So I'm going to just open-ended, add question, paste that in, and make it mandatory. And next one, what are some other benefits about the course? Add the question, paste it in, make it mandatory. Let's just save this so I don't lose this. And then we'll add another one. Would you recommend this course? And if so, why? Uh, I think we can only still use open-ended. Yeah. Let's see. Actually, we could use this one for this because would you recommend it? not at all or yes and then they can have a text field for why so let's choose this one the slider text so here's the question and then you can say not at all and then add an answer Okay, so I have not at all at one end and at, yes, absolutely at the other. Show the selected value, add a text box to specify. So we're gonna click that. And then we'll just copy this part that says, if so, why? All right. I'll put if so, why or why not? Okay, so I put if so, why, or why not? And then I'm gonna make that mandatory and then let's save. Okay, so then we have, is there anything else you'd like to add? That'll be open-ended. And our last one will be a rating scale. So, would you rate what would you rate the course so we'll go to this one the rating so they can do some sort of thing like this with the stars so what would you rate this course make it mandatory number of stars five so then you can have them enter an additional comment right here
So I can just write something like that. All right, so I'm just gonna save this. Okay, so I have six questions there. So that's my last one, yeah. All right, so we've got the questions in there. So now we wanna go to design up here at the top. So this is my logo that I'll probably use. Now you can, you can pick different templates here too and then input your logos and things like that. So we could pick one of these here, let's see. Let's just pick a generic office one. So we can pick this one. All right, so that's what it would look like. And then you can choose your layout. You can do this. Or you could do this, or you can do that. I think I like this one. And then you can enter enter your logo. Okay, so let's just preview this right now, just because I want to see what it's doing. All right, so I'm going to go to preview. Okay, so it's just giving us the generic one right here. All right, so let's go back. And we need to remove that logo. Okay, now we need to upload our own. Okay, so I'm gonna upload my, my logo. So I'm going to use this one. Great logo, we have detected the following colors in your upload, would you like to use these colors? I'll say yes, I think, no, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna tweak a few of those, but all right. So this isn't quite my color here for the blue. So I'm just gonna update that. Okay. And the background, I guess we can leave it with that one. Content box, it's all right. Text, so I'm gonna choose that we use. Um, open in. And font color. So that's okay, I guess. Well, actually, no, I'm going to change that too. And link color. Okay. And the buttons. And the button text color, I'm going to make white. <clears throat> there, so this is a preview of what it will look like. There's the logo, this is an example of what the text will look like, and this is an example of link, and this is the button. And then there's some additional design elements down here at the bottom. We have progress bar, use an arrow or have that hidden. Show rounded corners for all buttons and boxes. So we can do that. Um, and then show survey any place branding in the bottom left corner. So I'm on the free plan right now, so you'd have to upgrade if you don't want that. And show a previous button. Icon, your icon will be used as a favicon and will be shown in the browser. So we need to update that right now, if you want. So I can go back to my logo area and can update it with my, my icon here. Okay, so I'm gonna save this. And then I'm going to preview just to see where we're at. Okay, so it says eCourse Alley, welcome. Hi, we're interested in learning your opinion through a few quick questions. Use the buttons to swipe side to side or to navigate. So we can start. What prompted you to buy this online course? All right, so I'd have to say something <laughs> to go next because they're all mandatory, but I think it looks pretty good like it is. Um, all right, I'll say, uh, Found it online. 
What did you like most about the course? I'll just put inter okay. interactivity. What are some other benefits about the course? So I'll just put the engaging quizzes. Just trying to do this fast so you can see what it's like. Would you recommend this online course? So then you have a slider here and you can go not at all or yes, absolutely. So I'll just put yes, absolutely. And then you can type in this box here. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Just put no, just so we can go forward. And what would you rate this course? So I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll give myself a five stars. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, so then you just click on that and then complete. Now I'm not gonna hit that at the moment just cause I think we're in preview mode though, but all right, we'll try it see what happens. Okay, so then you get your thank, thank you page here um, and no results were saved because you were in preview mode. And it just says, thank you, blah, blah, blah. Check out our website. So then this would link to our website. So there you have it. This is how you can create a survey for your online course using this program survey any place and they have a awesome free plan lots of choices as you just saw lots of customizations that you can include so I'd highly recommend it it's really really great I've already um, added one to one of my courses and I'll be adding more now that I've discovered them um, because it just makes it really easy and oh, I'll just show you that one more thing here if you want to share it, so you have a link here. So that's your customized link. So you can link to it. Here's the short link. You have a QR code. You can even like, you can activate it. You can add a password for your questionnaire. You can embed it. So you can embed the script as well. iframe everything. So it makes it really easy to embed into a course platform like Udemy or Thinkific, you can just really easily and then just link to it and it'll just go there and you can they can do the survey and then the results are then shown in like a dashboard like this and you'll be able to see who's responded, the completion rate, duration, the answers to the questions that people put in. It's really great. So I hope this was helpful and um, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you are thinking of using Survey Anyplace to create a survey for your online course. Thank you and have a great day.